Yo, what's up, gamers? We both passed all of our bans, and uh, I insta-locked Uller. I'm assuming he's also going to insta-lock Uller. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I've been recording for over two and a half hours, and uh, I have one game to show for it because I just keep fighting extremely cringy players. Um, you know, I try to do fun things, and it just doesn't work out for me, so... I'm just going to be, I'm going to be the cringe. I'm going to be the cringe. Because apparently fun's not allowed. So that's the game plan. You can tell I'm a little bit tilted. I actually should just go this. And I, I could, I could go horrific, but I feel like just going shell is better. What does more damage, your three or your one? I mean, obviously your one is going to do more, or, or uh, your three is going to do more in bow stance. You know what's interesting? Your three starts off doing way more and then gets evened out at rank three of your one and your three, and then your one starts taking over. Huh. That is actually really interesting. The most amount of damage I can do at level three is two points in the one and one in the three. All right, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Also, this guy's a master's board of Merlin, which is insane. I never see Merlin players. Not bad. Oh man, he's out of mana. Hmm. He did the XP camp, but I can't help but feel like it It doesn't really help him. I just I still get red buff, right? I mean, maybe I don't. But he just doesn't have mana. Yeah, okay. I do just straight up get the red buff. I feel like that's really weird. Or maybe, I guess he plays Merlin so much, he just knows. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to outclear. And then, like, I'll outclear the first buff. But I'll still just give away the second buff and I'll get XP cap. I guess that's just his game plan. When he plays Merlin. Not bad. I missed. All right. He's going to go get Kronos Pendant. I will go get uh, that one item. Transcendence. That's what it's called. We'll meet back and we'll punch each other in the face, I guess. Um, he definitely wins the the battle right now, though. Because I need to stack my item and he doesn't. And it gives him 20% cooldown. So he definitely wins this, this early battle. Okay, maybe not if I, if I just jump in and land everything like that. Maybe not. All right. I definitely scared him. I think he's definitely scared of me. Which <laughs> I think is, is a very big positive for the games I've been having today. Making him scared is, is huge. Right, his blue is up.
All right. That is actually very, very good. That is very good because I've lowered him to the point where he can't go to get my blue and he can't contest his own blue. That is really nice. So let's grab everything on the map here. And I don't really have a lot of mana. So I might just auto attack these ones down. Oh no, he's gonna... He's gonna ability them. He's trying me. He doesn't even have a point in his ult, by the way. Because that didn't knock me up. That should have knocked me up if he had a point in his ult. That was a really good ability. I, I'm i very proud of that, that three, to be honest. All right, really good fight. Let's just go straight back. I'm going to go Jones here um, because cooldown. And also, my damage is way better than his. So... Spamming abilities is not bad. Oh, I missed. Oh, I killed myself. Oh my gosh. It's too clean. It's too clean, man. This is why you don't give me the Euler. I don't play this god much, but when I do, it's pretty decent. At least I like to think so. All right. I kind of want to go Hydras as well, but I think I might just go Heartseeker here. Once this Transcendence is fully stacked and I get that 10 base pen, I'm going to have... 10 here, 10 here, and then I'll have percentage pen on the heart seeker. I will do very many damage. You juke the way I was not expecting. I missed everything. Oh, not everything. Just most things. Oh man, he got low. I hit both my one and my three freehand. Dude, it actually takes me so long. I have no attack speed. Oh, wait. I have more attack speed than bow stance, right? I'm very close to that transcendence being fully stacked. I now have it fully stacked. My damage just feels like it got evolved. He ran away anyways. I missed again. All right. But he still doesn't have a point in his ult, by the way. It's super interesting that he's not putting a point in his ult at all.
Nice. I actually am surprised my axe killed him. I knew it would do a lot of damage, but I thought I'd have to axe and then run out and then turn and auto. But I'll take it. How much does axe do? 170 plus 93 because of scaling. I guess that is over like 250 damage. That is a lot of damage. So let's grab this. Um, I'm gonna actually grab just Crusher here. I'm just gonna go ability based dueler. Screw it. I'm not landing the auto attacks anyways. Who cares? I hear him. I missed. I missed again. Oh my good God. Holy crap, I do a lot of damage, man. This god is crazy. No wonder he's banned all the time. I kind of don't want blue buff anymore. Like, dude. Are you witnessing my damage output right now? Oh, I think that three hit him. I think that three hit him too. It just didn't kill. All right. What does my ult even do? Gives me power. Well, that's it. It's only six power though. It's not that much power. I could have maybe killed there if I jumped on him. But I'm not really down to risk. Like, make risky plays. What I am down to do is simply get Crusher. Get the lifesteal ability thing here. And go into... I guess Beat Stick. Like, normally on ability-based gods, I go uh, Hydras as well. Which, it wouldn't be bad here. I just feel like I don't need it. Jesus. Jesus. Three autos did 670. I didn't even build auto attack, but my my heart seeker plus my crusher alone did 250 damage. My one did 273. Well, I guess both my ones did like 500. That's crazy, dude. Past bands play Uller. Shit's OP. This guy's OP.